Hi and welcome Cancer, Rose Burnett here from Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your monthly tarot reading for March 2019. It is a general reading so I always just suggest that you take what resonates, leave what does not. If you want a personal reading that's more attuned to your own energy and circumstances, reach out. I'll pop the link on this video and in the description box below. If you're a brand new uh, visitor to my channel, big welcome. Uh, I not only read the tarot intuitively, I'm a transformational coach as well as an energy healer. I work with clients all around the world in terms of uh, chakra clearing and balancing, revitalization of chi energy, healing the soul light, the inner child, releasing self from stuck states, particularly karmic and emotional stuck states, yeah. Um, and uh, the reason I share this with you is that I bring a whole lot of that experience and wisdom to my readings. They're quite different, yeah, highly spiritual. And uh, so I just uh, suggest that you allow the guidance to flow through to you with an open heart and open mind. Take what resonates, leave the rest. For those of you that regularly follow my channel, you're rockin' awesome, love you to bits. And uh, before we get started, there is a coupon code running this month. You can get $10 off the 45 minute extended reading with me. It's going to pop up over here in a sec. All you need to do is take it across to the booking form, enter it when prompted to get your $10 off. All right, let's get started. So working with lots of crystals in the room, lots of abalone shells. I'll show you one I found today, which I love finding the little ones here. They excite me no end because they're so perfect. Um, I found this tiny one today. It's like absolutely gorgeous. It's only about an inch big, but just stunning. Um, all right, let's get started. So we're going to open your reading up with an energy from the Ask an Angel deck here. Brand new deck. Love it. Love it. All right. Let's see what you need to know, Cancer. In March, highest level guidance, please. Ah, this is beautiful. You've pulled hope. And uh, also going to pull you some ancient wisdom from the Shaman's Oracle. I've got to say, I've got this brand new crystal sitting on it, which is kind of almost like a stone, but it's... um. It's pink tourmaline, which is all about, it's very earthy, isn't it? It's all about like our heart chakra. All right, let's have a look at the shaman's oracle. So you need to know, Cancer, in March. Ah, you've pulled the spirit of healing. It's got beautiful cave art on them. What else does Cancer need to know? Mm. And the hunter of abundance, exciting. So I'm going to share that guidance with you now and then we're going to pull out some uh, guidance in terms of four key areas that are going to focus on that might be challenges, opportunities, things you need to work on, be aware of coming your way in terms of the energy oracle and lots of clarifiers on those and a beautiful crowning energy from the Sacred Rebels deck. So let's have a look at the uh, one from Ask an Angel Hope. And it says, Cancer, hope is one of the most powerful of all human emotions. It awakens within us the strength, the courage and inspiration to do almost anything. But it is the experience of true hope, the hope that comes even after our struggles, even when things seem pointless, hard or hopeless, that gives us new eyes to see with. It allows a new perspective to emerge from our being and we are reborn. It is through this burst of clarity and inspiration that we become able to manifest a new life for ourselves. We take a renewed attitude with a renewed action and become able to attract the people and opportunities we need to create new beginnings and a new life. If you found life struggles overwhelming recently, if you felt confused, frustrated or defeated, it may be time for you to let go and surrender to the natural cycles of life. Just as nature has seasons and cycles, so do we. You may have been experiencing a winter within your psyche. Sit, breathe and allow yourself to reconnect to your deeper self. If you're willing to take the time to connect, you will notice a change taking place within you. New life, new courage and new seeds are being sown within you. A new phase of life is beginning. So be conscious and use this time well. Allow yourself to really feel that spring of hope bubbling from the depths of your being. Become open to the worlds of possibility that lie waiting, open to you now. Take courage and take flight. Wow, beautiful message. All right. So let's have a look at the ones from the Shaman's Oracle. First up, we've got the Spirit of Healing. 
I'll show it to you. There's a great big figure on here reaching out, yeah. Power of healing coming out of his hands. And it says, Cancer, I am the spirit of healing. I present ways of alleviating the many factors that cause sickness in both the body and mind. If you are suffering, stand with me. With my help, you may grow strong again and throw off the darkness that has overshadowed your life. I will hold your wounded spirit gently in my hands and breathe upon it with the breath of healing. Restored, your spirit will return to your body filled with strength and purpose. Healing is required by all of us at some time in our lives. Our ancestors living in a dangerous world required healers on a regular basis. However, it is the spiritual aspect of healing on which we focus here. The foremost care of the tribal shamans was the overall health of the community and after that, the health of each individual. The spirit of healing makes journeys to the ancestral or guiding spirits to find cures for those of us who have been hurt in a way that cannot be treated by natural means. Addressing our inner sickness, it restores us to wholeness. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's have a look at the Hunter of Abundance. Now you've got some amazing guidance coming in and beautiful cave art on these, on these cards. And it says, Cancer, I am the Hunter of Abundance. Wherever I go, I forage for the richest store of good things, the utmost bounty that will encourage stability, strength, growth and comfort within you. When I find these things, I bring them home to bestow upon you who have asked me to seek them out. My presence on your journey represents a fulfillment of purpose and overflowing of fruitfulness and riches, spirit, heart and mind. Abundance means wealth in all forms. The ability to provide for family, tribe or nation can come at a high price. But when the rewards are reaped, we rejoice. For our ancestors, it meant access to food, shelter and warmth. Yet encounters with a hunter of abundance teach us that today abundance is not only insufficient provision for those in our care, but also another kind of plenty, that of creativity and emotional stability and a profound sense of spirit and love for all. It also means taking only enough for our needs rather than over consumption. Mm. Super intrigued just to see what else is going to come out in your reading, Cancer. Got to say, working with lots of crystals today too. Uh, got them on all the decks as well as lots of abalone shells. All right, let's have a look at the four key areas of focus for you for March. Oh, this so wants to come out. Oh, okay. So for some of you, you've gone through a broken heart, which is all about healing it, which is obviously why I've got the spirit of healing here on the deck. All right, let's have a look at uh, what else you need to know. Yeah. And some of you have got, I'm going to say some of you have gone through that healing or you're open to love. You've got woman holding the heart. It applies to both men and women, yeah. It's about having that heart opening state or trying to attract that love into your life. Mm. you got a key message to have patience. That's patience with the process and patience with self. All right, let's see what else you need to know. Oh, Wow. And uh, you just know everything's leading you to this happy family, whether that's friendships, whether that's immediate family, creating, creating a, a relationship's going to lead to that happy family. All right, let's have a look at some clarifiers with the goddess guidance deck in terms of, uh, first up, we're going to have a look at the broken heart and see what's here on the table. Highest level guidance for cancer, please. Okay. You've pulled Rihanna Sorceress, which means basically that you're a magical person. You can create whatever it is you want to create in your life. You always can. Often we only hold ourselves stuck or we have the illusion that others are help holding us stuck, but that's you allowing them to. Mm. Part of your healing is to know how to set healthy boundaries with people. Ishtar, um, on your energy and your emotions. Absolutely. Uh, you've also got the message purification, Coventina. This is about purifying your thoughts, what you're saying to yourself, balancing your emotions. It's also about looking after your health and well-being, your diet, your exercise, your nutrition. All right, let's have a look at woman holding the heart. What is it cancer needs to know? Mm. 
There's a lot here about your state of self in terms of your emotions and your energy. Yeah, you've got white tar at sensitivity. Uh, it's sitting right under boundaries, yeah? So it's all about making sure that uh, it means you be increasingly sensitive emotionally and energy-wise here in March. Um, putting healthy boundaries in place with people to protect yourself, particularly negative people, push them to the edge of the circle. Take a break from them if you have to. Put boundaries in place with them to protect yourself. Um, whether that's friends, family, in the workplace. Um, mm -hmm. Avoiding harsh environments as well as the negativity on the news, the media. Kind of like putting yourself in a little cocoon. Um, mm -hmm. Recognising when you're feeling overly sensitive. Stepping away and taking some time out to balance and ground your energy and your emotions. Hmm. You've also got the message, uh, Sarasvati, the arts, your soul longs to express itself creatively. This is a great way, in terms, it's a beautiful healing practice, I've got to say. It distracts you from all of the uh, stuff that you're going on with in terms of your emotions, being in your head too much. It just allows you to enjoy yourself, bring joy into your life, yeah. Um, it can be part of your life path, life purpose too. All right, let's have a look at patience. What do you need patience for? Highest level guidance for cancer, please. Mm. I think it's patience with self because you've got the message to take some quiet time out. Contemplation, meditation, yeah. Soothe your soul. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some of you recycling stuff from the past. Isis, past life memories. You're holding yourself stuck. Um, this is about mindfulness practices, yeah. Whether it can be due with any aspect of life. It can be to do with the breakup from relationships of the past, um, things you have forgiven yourself, holding on to shame, guilt, recycling through that, um, angst towards other people that have hurt you, recycling through it constantly. It can be about your money, scarcity consciousness, what you're saying to yourself, uh, holding yourself stuck, fear and doubt. It's about pulling yourself up when you do that, when you start becoming consciously aware of what you're saying to yourself in your head, which is why the purification card's on the table, dare I say, um, and how many times you're doing it, you need to pattern interrupt. Um, the first thing is just to say to yourself, oh, hello, I'm telling that same old story again. I have literally just done it again. You'll be surprised at how many times you're saying it to yourself during the day when you become consciously aware of it. I'll give you a pattern interrupt, yeah. I mean, you can find an affirmation that totally appeals to you, but um, you may have heard me mention it before. It's a beautiful one from Louise Hay, who's now passed over, but she left such a legacy in our world, yeah. It's a, it is, I am worthy of all the great things in life, and I lovingly accept them now. I am worthy of all the great things in life, and I lovingly accept them now. The other one you can say to yourself, which is one that I came up with the other day, is I deserve happiness, yeah. I deserve happiness. Absolutely, you will do. Um, you just keep saying an affirmation to yourself like that um, over and over again until you do a pattern interrupt. You stop saying the old stuff, recycling through the old stuff, and you often have to keep doing it consciously. Uh, sometimes it can take you up to a month to really clear out what you're saying to yourself. And then you'll find you, you can just literally pull yourself up and go, oh, just to have that again, just pack it up. That thought, yeah, uh, instantly can, can shift your state of being, your state of emotions, your state of um, mental thoughts too, yeah. Called mindfulness. All right, let's pull you one more. That's from the transformational coaching me, by the way, if you're wondering. Oh, yeah. Mm. You got the message to trust your inner wisdom, Athena. Uh, trust yourself. Take action. Take the steps you're going to take. What area of your life that applies to? All right, let's have a look at the happy family. What is it you need to know, Cancer? Mm. Just know you're going through a period of transformation, butterfly maiden. Um, a time of enormous change is going to bring you great blessings. Maybe transformation in relationships in terms of the family. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Uh, just know you're divinely protected at this time. Um, Sedna, infinite supply. Divine is watching you back in terms of your material and your emotional needs. They're going to be met for today and all of your tomorrows. How gorgeous. All right. Let's pull you one more. Mm, yeah. For those of you that need to do the heart healing, you've pulled is of undying love. Just know the love that you shared wasn't wasted. It was received at the time. 
no matter how things have turned out now. Not going to apply to everyone, yeah, just a few of you. Um, have a look at this gorgeous abundance wand I've got sitting on this deck. Citrine. Okay, let's pull you some more clarifiers from the uh, crystal reading deck. All right, tell us about this uh, this broken heart, the boundaries, the fact you're a magical person, you create whatever it is you want to create in your life. Okay, it's two that have dropped out there. Mm. Key messages you've got uh, is Brazilian, be flexible with yourself, be flexible with the process, particularly if you're going through heart healing. Um, oh, wow, wow. Double confirmation, clear quartz, purification. Um, it's sitting in exactly the same row. Let me pull it up. <laughs> it's just two cards across, yeah. Message from spirit. Clean your thoughts and your emotions up. It's also about your body too. Wow. You're on notice, Cancer. <laughs> Let's pull you one more. Highest level guidance, please. There's two here. Okay. Part of the things you're going to need to deal with is black, black obsidian, the shadow side of self. This is accepting the light and dark sides of self, forgiving yourself for anything you've done. The fact you've got boundaries here if your shadow side's being triggered by people, um, it's often an indication that you, it could be things in terms of how you feel like you're being treated. Um, it's about how much you, you know, in terms of wanting other people to treat well, feeling loved, appreciated values. Um, if you're someone that lets people step all over you, it's time to stand up for yourself and speak up, yeah? Put boundaries in place. Part of your emotional healing. Wow. Second message from universe about your creativity. Part of your healing journey for those of you that need to do heart healing is to do something creative in your time off. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at... Uh, you got woman holding a heart, sensitivity, as well as your first card you pulled for creativity. Highest level guidance for cancer, please. Okay, that's flying out. Yeah. You got the message to stand in your empowerment sunstone. Which often speaks to your masculine energy, healing the masculine energy within self. Uh, you've also got spirits, quartz, music. It's going to be so soothing for you. Whether you just listen to music or get tap into some meditation, guided meditation, yeah, and practice the art of gratitude. Be grateful for the things that are amazing about yourself. Um, tell yourself what they are to remind yourself. It's all to do with your self-worth, your self-love. Be grateful for the things that are working well in your life, particularly around your family, your friends. Um, mm -hmm. All right. Let's have a look at the row that's got uh, everything to do with patience, taking some quiet time out for self, um, trusting your own inner wisdom. Mm, wow. Second card on the table for boundaries. Red Jasper, Cancer. Some of you seriously need to learn how to put boundaries in place with people, yeah? Mm-hmm. Often when we don't know how to set boundaries, um, it's from our, it's karmic, yeah, it's from our childhood going through to adulthood. We've often had our boundaries overstepped constantly by one caregiver or the other. Um, and there can be a whole lot of drama and manipulation that goes around your ability to set boundaries, right? Um, you can try and put boundary in place to protect yourself or your own individual visuality, what you want to do in life. And um the caregiver can do all sorts of manipulative behavior right through to adulthood yeah it can even be continuing today um when you try and put healthy boundaries in place what happens with that is you learn it's a learned thing you model what what you witness yeah so you can either not speak up for yourself or you can overstep other people's boundaries and apply a lot of control to them particularly relationships it'll trip you up it'll keep tripping you up yeah until you sort it out um if you're interested I have a four-part video series on Vimeo. It's only $8.95. It's called The Top Four Secrets to Attract a Soulmate. Yeah, but in that, I'm also doing a karmic healing program, putting it together, which will cover boundaries. Yeah, but it's, it's not out yet. Um, but within that program, that, that one on video, on Vimeo, the video series, it covers all the karmic stuff that might possibly be tripping you up. It covers boundary setting a lot. Yeah, so if that's something you need, I'll put the link on here and below. Go check it out. There's a trailer you can watch. Um, part of your... Uh, Strength that you need to step into is speaking up for yourself, act marine communication to set your healthy boundaries. Yeah, you've got to speak up. All right, let's have a look at your transformation, your happy family. 
your infinite supply. What is it Cancer needs to know? Wow. Some of you are definitely manifesting. Libby and Gold Tech type, trying to bring things into your life. Some of you are trying to ma manifest a soulmate, yeah? Which is why the uh, woman holding the heart is on the, car on the table here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's pull you on more. Highest level guidance, please. Oh, yeah. Some of you definitely need to reach out to a healer. Yeah, new might. Yeah, to help with your healing process. All right. Let's um, pull you some clarifiers from the messenger oracles. I'm going to pull one for every row. So first up, we're going to pull one for the row all about the... Uh, the broken heart, setting boundaries, purifying your thoughts. Highest level guidance, please, for cancer. What is it they need to know? Oh, I've got to say, half the deck wants to come out for you. Mm, yeah. You've pulled Know Your Power, which is standing up for yourself and stepping into your empowerment. I will read you the message on that one because it's, it's, it's really cool it really is cool all right let's have a look at uh, your sensitivity your empowerment your creativity and woman holding a heart what is it cancer needs to know highest level guidance please mm. you've got embrace the dark if you have a look at this well she's very dark right there's kind of a few little fairies nature fairies and spirits sitting right next to her um okay let's have a look at uh the need to have patience, yeah, taking quiet time out for self. Healthy boundaries, yeah. Time to ground, yeah. Time to ground your energy. This is all about getting your feet on Mother Earth. Anytime you're feeling emotionally overwhelmed or sensitive, get your feet on Mother Earth. Um, follow me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'll put my handle on here. I often take you on my hikes and my walks and show you how to balance and ground yourself, raise your vibration. All right, let's have a look at... Uh, here we go, it's flew out before I could even say it, which means spirit is uh, directly with us today. Uh, this is all about your happy family, the transformation you're going through. For those of you that uh, have gone through a relationship breakdown, it's directly related to undying love, is all, yeah. Um, you've got seek the lesson. Often when we go through a period of change, it uh, pretends that we've gone through challenges or we had to let go of things, yeah, to go through this change. Oh, it's about seeking the lesson within it. Uh, let's pull you up the guidance. So, let's have a look at this one. It's all about empowerment, yeah? Know your power. I've got to say, for those of you, this is super important that need to learn how to set healthy boundaries. It says you have a choice in all things. Your power is born of that freedom to choose, but with that freedom comes the burden of responsibility. To know your power, you must accept responsibility for your part in all you experience, even when you allow another to impose their choice or will upon you. You have the power to choose if you wear a saddle or a bridle, or if another will ride upon your back. Own your power, know it and see it in all of your choices and actions. Uh, that's particularly pertinent for those of you sitting there going, um, you know, my partner's doing this to me and doing that to me. Well, hello, you chose them. Yeah, you chose to be in a relationship with them. Um, you either, you know, it's all about the actions you do or do not take. Do you speak up for yourself? Do you, you know what I mean? You've got to take responsibility for self. Um, if we, we, in every moment, we consciously create our experiences. Oh, absolutely. All right, let's have a look at Embrace the Dark. And uh, it says, Cancer, you've been taught that either is good or evil, negative or positive. Good gives rise to good and bad gives rise to bad. Is it wrong to have feelings like anger, dislike or fear as these emotions are born from our shadow self? This is not the truth. Everything happens for a reason. Love can give rise to destruction and hate can inspire acts of genuine love. The lessons offered by our shadow often teach us the most. Know your shadow self, love it. Without darkness, the stars cannot be seen. Dare I say. <laughs> yeah, you pulled the shadow self. All right. 
And let's have a look at uh, time to ground is really straightforward. Just get your feet on Mother Earth, yeah? Seek the lesson. Big wolf sitting on that. And it says Cancer. Wisdom is born from seeking the lesson in all experiences, both good and bad. It is born from the awareness that everything is connected and everything happens for a reason, even when that reason remains a mystery. Embrace a new idea, new awareness, or the new knowledge that comes from listening to your internal voice and to the human and non-human teachers and messengers who will come in and out of your life. Let them inspire you to explore unknown pathways. Mm. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's pull your crowning energy. So, from the Sacred Rebels deck, let's see what you need to know, Cancer, for March 2019. Highest little guys flying out. Oh, yeah, beautiful. You've pulled a so gorgeous, big, bold vision. I have to say, it's one of my favourite cards in this deck. Maybe it'll become one of your favourites. Um, and this deck's by Lana Fairchild, by the way. And it says, Cancer, you are not born to play a small role in life. You have the ability to dream big. Even if you have absolutely no idea about how your visions can come to pass or what the details may look like, you can access the heart and guts of a vision by tapping into your wildest dreams and surrendering attachment to exactly how it will all work out. The details are up to the creative genius of the universe. You are an active contributing participant, but not the sole player in your life journey. There is something, a vision or idea that's coming to you. You may worry if it's too much for you, but don't. It's meant to be yours. Although you may have some adjustments to make and some tweaking to do as you let go of your limited thinking and open up to a fearless acceptance of a bigger, brighter, more radical, more potent possibilities of creatively living your light in the world. A sign that you are cracking out of your limited thinking to allow for a big, bold vision to come to you is that you might be feeling a little bit dizzy with the shrinking limitations and expanding possibilities of life. You may wonder if you're allowed to access so much wonder. Remember that in your healing and growing success as you manifest this big vision, you can touch the hearts of others through your presence, your inner work, your art and your choices. It is a win-win situation. Those that are meant to live a big, bold and visionary lives need to give themselves permission to break the mould and forge newer, more expansive perspectives of what's possible what's permitted and what's of service. It's about letting go and opening up. Others will benefit from it. Even though it is your vision, it's not just about you. You're being asked to remember that when something is right for you, endless synchronicities and support will flow your way at the right time in the right way. Stay open, receptive, playful and surrendered. This oracle brings you a message. You're about to receive or be invited to become part of a grand visionary beginning. It has the makings of something fantastic. No matter how the journey that brings this vision into reality unfolds, and there will be some twists and turns that you don't see coming, it is still helpful for you to be open to it. Trust your heart, be still with your choices, and when the time feels right and truthful, leap. This oracle also brings a message for those of you that like to further develop their intuitive insight. It's already happening. Trust what you perceive. Even if it conflicts with what everyone else around you is saying on the surface of things, trust your inner perceptions. They are accurate and will be proven to be so later on. The healing process below will help with this. And this oracle brings a general message of positive energy. Trust that things will be coming up roses for you, even if everything seems to be a bit of a shambles now. It really is just the essential mess before a truly spectacular success. Oh, how amazing. All right. There's a healing ritual here which says, it says stay, right? We just allow the guides to flow through to you. Just listen. It says, I release all blocks to my vision 
I release all beliefs, conscious or unconscious, stored in my body or mind that would have me belittle or minimize myself out of fear and ignorance. I choose to be bold, big and bright, to vision with my heart and receive all the genius of the universe in supporting that vision coming to life. So be it. You've completed your healing process. Repeat again whenever you feel yourself in awe of what seems to be coming through as a vision for your future. Gorgeous advice, I've got to say. All right, Cancer, if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, rock and awesome if you've already subscribed, as I mentioned before. And I do read all the comments, I do respond. Might take me a little while, so just be patient. If you're going to be overtly negative or critical on my channel, fair notice, you're going to get muted, blocked, and bounced off. Yeah. My channel is all about raising the positive vibration on this planet one person at a time. That includes you. Be mindful of how you're showing up on my channel. All I can say is go balance and ground your energies. You'll feel heaps better. All right. Don't forget, grab your coupon code. If you want to get the personal reading with me, the 45 minute one to get $10 off. There's also a competition on the homepage of my website to win a personal reading. So go check that out. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.